This all started a hundred years ago with my grandfather. I'm Paris Penfold, and this is my wife, Janet Field Penfold. So we are in Driggs, Idaho, and we are on our, we are in the cellar of our potato field. This all started a hundred years ago with my grandfather. His name is Verge Penfold, and my grandmother was a hillman that just lived down the street over here. We got lots of Hellmans surrounding us. In fact, uh, we got an activity with one of the Hellmans tomorrow night. He sings and we're having a big dance. So it all started a uh, hundred years ago with, with Georgia, Hellman, and Virg Penfold. Grandpa first came when he was seven years old. And he came from Utah and he had some other uncles that had moved here and he and his family have settled here. He came on the railroad and, and caught the, the, at the rail end was in St. Anthony. And he got off the train there and uh, he remembers having lunch with Ed Trafton, who if you're a resident of the Valley, he was a notorious stagecoach robber and was put in prison not long after that. But when, but Grandpa Virtue remembers when meeting he was seven him. years old, meeting him and having dinner with him at a, ca at a cafe there. And they came over by a wagon and uh, after when he started well, working. And that winter, his father died of pneumonia. And there were 11 kids in this family. And he was the 10th of 11 children. And his older brothers and his mother raised him. They lived in log cabins and chicken coops and really wherever they could get a job. And then he had a livery stable with one of his brothers. and traded it for a piece of land that he sold and then later uh, when he was about 18 I think he bought the very first 60 acres which is we're standing on some of the original land that he bought and his first cabin was just a little ways over here that you could still almost see the the foundation for where they started and he had, they had six children, five girls, and... My dad who? was the only son. Yeah. Paris grew up in Driggs, Idaho, so he is a third generation seed potato grower here in Driggs. And he had to import some new blood into the valley, so he went over to Owyhee County and found a little field girl that knew only how to raise sugar beets and brought me over to teach me how to raise potatoes. seed potatoes. So I am a farm girl, married a farmer. Well, I really, I really believe that, that there's a lot of things that you inherit from your grandparents or your parents, and one of those things is hard work, because that's uh, that's what you learn on a farm. And I think that because of the families here, a lot of these families come back and spend some time working with my grandpa and stuff. And so I really think that uh, you know we inherit things, and I think that if you work hard uh, right from the beginning you're gonna be successful. So you're gonna have a party. Tell us, tell us what, what's, what's the celebration this weekend? Oh my gosh, it is incredible. Uh, my wife, um, last year, decided that she would go ahead and fill out all the papers and stuff to become a, a centennial Good. farm. And uh, so she's done most all the work for any, all of this stuff. Yeah. Well, it was really my brother, Howard, who told me about the Century Farm oh, okay. program. And I knew that it was his family's 100th anniversary coming up. 
pretty soon because his grandfather purchased the land in 1920 in the fall and started farming in 1921. And we decided that because of COVID, we'd wait a year to see if we can get everybody together. So we're having a, a big uh, reunion and a celebration. And uh, so we've just got all kinds of fun things planned that you do on the farm. We've got a pipe moving contest going. We've got sack races for the kids. We're going to have a potato contest where they have to pick potatoes. And the potatoes out in the field are not quite big enough to do that. So we, we've got some other potatoes that, we, no. <laughs> that we're going to have to take that done. But yeah, they're just they have to a little take the small. good with the bad. That's right. So anyway, we're just going to have a fun uh, three-day three day celebration. We've got uh, tons of relatives that are coming, and we're just excited to, uh, to share that with our families, plus with Farm Bureau.